Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your favorite Bible bistro. I'm so glad you came back. Come on and sit down. We've got some dainties for you today. We're in Psalm 5. We're going to look at four, verses 4 and 5. It's easy for me to say, verses 4 and 5. And, well, let me just go ahead and read those for you. You got your Bible ready? Open your Bible on up. I'm going to read down to my translation, and let's read together, okay? Ready? Verse 4. For you do not take pleasure in wickedness. Evil does not abide with you. The foolish will not stand before your eyes. You hate all the workers of iniquity. I feel like there ought to be a Selah there. Anyway, so here we have verses 4 and 5. Notice that we're identifying who this Lord is whose ear we're plying. We're going to find out something about him here in these two verses. First of all, you do not take pleasure in wickedness. Now compare that with the last phrase in the in verse 5. You hate all the workers of iniquity. So those two work together. Evil does not abide with you. The foolish will not stand before your eyes. Those phrases work together. So you see we're working from the outside in in verses 4 and 5. So we find out something about the Lord here. He doesn't take pleasure in wickedness. Well, what does that mean? That means that wickedness is not ever okay with him. He doesn't wink at it. He doesn't say, oh, that's okay, I understand. No, he never, ever, ever takes pleasure in wicked doings. Evil does not abide. It doesn't live in his house. There's there's no way you can ever describe him if you're describing him in a way that is wicked. As a matter of fact, some people who have done disrepute to the name of Christ have done it by identifying Christ and God and the Spirit of God with wicked things. Friends, that's dangerous. That's dangerous because we find out that God doesn't take pleasure in it, evil does not abide with him, and then notice verse 5, the foolish will not stand. Now, we've already found out something. In Remember in Psalm 1, we, had, um, we were told that the wicked would not stand. Where's Psalm 1? Here it is. Uh, Verse 5, Therefore the wicked will not stand up in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Now we find out that not only is it the wicked and sinners, but it's also the foolish. They're not going to stand either. So now we're building that identification of those who are opposed to the gospel, those who are opposed to the ways of God. And One of them is here found in verse 5, the foolish. And the foolish is going to be a theme that we're going to see carried through the the text of the Psalms. We're going to find out more about the foolish man as we go along. But you'll notice wickedness, evil, the foolish, they're not going to stand there. And then finally in verse 5, that last phrase, which may have given you some pause, is this statement, you hate all the workers of iniquity. You say, how can that be true? Doesn't God love everyone? Absolutely, he loves everybody. But at the same time, the Bible says that um, he, well, right here, verse 5, he hates all the workers of iniquity, and he's angry with the sinner every day. So, you know, there's there's this judgment piece, this righteous peace that we have to deal with. God is an all-consuming fire. He will judge the wicked, the evildoer, the sinner, the reprobate. That is going to be judged. He hates that. But what does he love? He loves those that are in covenant with him. You see, hate and love are covenant words, and they're being introduced to us here in the Psalms. And the psalmist is here introducing this idea of hate. What is it that God hates? He hates those who work iniquity. So if God hates and excludes those who work iniquity, then, ladies and gentlemen, we need to find out where we stand in his presence. Join me tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 6 and 7 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.